So, we all fancy ourselves as a bit of a James Bond on the water. I know I certainly do. But there comes a time when you need to have a boat that's maybe a little bit more practical, a little bit more social, have a little bit more space. And today I'm on one such boat. This is the Genoa Cap Camera 9.0 CC, CC for centre console. And this thing's awesome. It's an absolute family battle wagon. It's got heaps of space, lots of capability, and it's a go anywhere, no nonsense, all enjoyment kind of boat. I'm Dan Jones, this is Dan's Boat Life. Come with me, we're gonna do a bit of a test drive. I'm gonna take you for a walkthrough, get the drone up in the air, show you what it's like out on the water. Hope you enjoy. So starting here on the transom, we've got a uh, telescopic swim ladder that folds out. Nice big grab, grab handle. I'm pretty sure that was added by the local dealer. Um, we have shore power, fuel in on either side, and this great hatch here, which is perfect for shoes, fins, flippers, and what have you. We've also got hot and cold shower just here. Um, actually, I'm not sure if it's hot because this is an outboard powered boat, but we'll come back to you on that. Here is the gate for kids and dogs super easy and they're not getting out of there so that's perfect and essential if you're on a family boat as we enter super easy access uh, i think i pointed out the ski pole if i didn't there it is but grab handles at a good height the gunnels are nice and safe thick um, and would be easy to sit on as well but you don't need that because if you want to sit you've got this on both sides these flip out seats look at that that's comfortable ideal for two people and then if you want to sit on the back you've got enough space for four people across the transom here so that is perfect when you're underway this is going to be a great place to enjoy the ride you'd probably have the table in this mode here you can put a couple of drinks in the drink holders here and then when you are stopped for lunch hey presto you can get the whole family around this and on that point how are you going to prepare your lunch well Jeannot's got that sorted. Here we go. Nice Corian bench top. We've got a hot and cold uh, sink just there. Another small sink with a drain here and a single gas burner for lunch. And you've got this metal finish just up here. So no heat problems there from the Barbie. Then that closes up. We've got a fridge underneath. Isotherm fridge. That's got a little freezer drawer in it as well. You put stand up drinks and all your food in there and under here is just the gas bottle storage uh, the vented gas locker in there now this aft seat that folds up we'll cut to a shot of that uh, perfect place for safety gear don't really need to put your guest bags because i'll show you where they go in a second and this deck hatch just here it all hinges up and that's access to all your services and systems which we'll also cut to a shot of a bit later come forward and we'll have a look at the helm so another theme of this boat is its beam. You know, I've, I've spoken about it before, but you just feel it all the way through. You've got heaps of space. When you're at the helm, you're center mounted. You can have a, a partner or a friend on either side. Sitting is comfortable. I'm 5'7", my feet are about a foot off the ground. So this has got plenty of space for the tall guys and girls. But for us little blokes, we have a foot rest as well. Standing up, my hands only just touch the roof. So, so this is a boat built for everybody. Grab handles dotted all the way around. You can use the stainless, uh, the, uh, no, this is powder coated aluminium most likely, um, supports. And the helm itself has got really good wind protection. We did have a little drive on the way over here before and sitting down or even standing up, you don't really have much wind in your hair. So it's quite a comfortable ride. In terms of what we've got here, we have this nice flat finish just here where you can mount multiple instruments. We've got the single Simrad display there. Perfect place for your phones in here. There is a little charging point in here and that looks like the Fusion um, Ox input for the stereo. This is your Mercury diagnostics for the engines. This is all your boat systems just here. Here's your key starts just here. We've got the digital throttles just here. VHF aerial. We have a bow thruster. There's your emergency cutoff drink holder and another little knickknacks spot just here and a drink holder on port. So really, really practical and 
easy to use. The other thing worth noting is you've got some speakers up the top here and a little ledge. You know, this would be perfect for e even the odd little small safety items that you need to get access to um, at short notice. You could just throw them up there. Sliding door into the cabin, which we'll have a look at a bit later. Uh, but before we get there, practical fun things. We've got rod holders in the deck just here. We've got space for ropes and other bits and pieces, which you can just go in this netted storage on here. And on the starboard side, you've got long storage for boat hooks, fishing rods and the like. So just going back to that practical, fun boaty theme. And then come with me and we'll go forward. So you've really got two zones on this boat. You've got the aft lunch zone, which can be in complete shade um, from a telescopic sunshade, comfortable, out of the wind, social. And this is, this is a bit more of the party zone. We're out here in the sun, sun yourself, have a laugh, watch the sunset. And once again, loads of space. This table is a good size for a couple of people. This sun lounge, we've got armrests. I probably want a couple of cushions here for lower back support, but plenty of space. One thing worth noting, me sitting here is not going to interfere with the driver because his or her sight line is going to go right over your head. Even if you're six foot, you're not going to interfere with whoever's at the helm. So you could run with a couple of people sitting here looking forward and enjoying the view. Drink holders just here. Nice safety grab rails all the way around very wide bow so we're utilizing all of this space for social activities underneath us here we have opening hatches for storage so it's a place for you know um, life jackets and other safety gear but your anchoring setup is easily accessed just here we've got our electric operation just here it's a luma windlass and chain and rope stowed immediately below Super practical, nothing to it really. Nav lights, port and starboard, cleats up and down the boat. So we've got midships, aft and forward cleats and a nice big anchor here. It's, it's a do anything boat this. It's a family, no nonsense, do anything boat. Oh, fancy seeing you here. I'm just having a kip and quite a nice spot for a kip it is i've got a forward facing hatch for a little bit of ventilation if it's not raining you can actually open this whole roof that's the sun lounge on top of us facing forward suck a bunch of air down from there um, plenty of space two people could sleep here with ease this central section lifts up so there's loads of storage underneath this wooden panel um, you can put lots of life jackets there Bits and pieces can go in these opening lockers just here. You've got another stereo control there. And this area, this is where you would put all your guests' gear for the day. So when they rock up with more gear than they should, this is the place to do it. Come down here, lay all the bags down, take out what you're going to use for the day, um, disperse it throughout the boat, up on deck, in the fridge, etc., and or organise below decks. It doesn't have to stay on this bed. We have another bed behind us, which we'll go to in a second. That's easily a queen or a king size bed size, but it's really only a crawl space for kids. No adults are going to be comfortable in there. So that says to me, a wonderful storage spot, an occasional bed. Um, but yeah, as a cabin space, I can stand up. This is plenty enough space, particularly with the ventilation. It's good. Considering it's a centre console, this is great. So, it's a crawl space. What more can I say? Couple of hatches on either side. It's not huge. It could be claustrophobic, but it's there. Better than not. Woo! Awkward. Nah, just kidding. Uh, here we are in nice enclosed head compartment. Plenty of space. I can stand up, yeah, I can actually stand up with an inch above my head there. Um, we've got a manual flush toilet with holding tank here. We've got access underneath the sink here. I don't need to open that, just good place to put toilet paper, what have you. Um, we've got a sink with a pull out shower here. Fresh air accessible through this hatch here. Holding tank indicator there and toilet uh, that looks like fresh water operation just there and this is where you'd put a few toiletries you know maybe your, your toiletries bags would sit there for the day so really everything you need and nothing you don't
Oh, yeah, this is super easy. Yep. Yeah, no, no problems at all. Uh, no worries. Like a dream.